Welcome to this first recording. What we're going to be going over in this session is looking at getting started with IES, setting up our file and making sure our drawings get imported correctly. So here's the splash screen on IES and what we're going to do for the moment is we're going to ignore start geometries and project templates rather what we're going to do is we're going to click on the top left hand side which will bring us to this blank screen. Now the IES is built up of different modules which we can see on the left hand side here. These modules will activate different parts of IES. For initial geometry creation we're going to be using this top one here called Model It. And the very first thing I want to do is to save the project we're going to give it a sensible name. So now the project is saved, what I want to do now is look at importing the drawings in. So our project is going to be a simple two-story house. And what I've done is I've split these drawings up into DXF files. You can do that by taking your file, save as, and then simply changing the format to DXF. What I've done with these drawings as well is to line up the corner with the 00, zero point on, IE, uh, on AutoCAD. That means when we import these drawings into IES, they will match up floor to floor. It's not the end of the world if they don't, but it is beneficial if they do so. So going back to IES, oh and incidentally, if it's not ideal to be using a corner because if you're using a survey, sometimes the external walls could be moving uh, going up is usually more beneficial to be using grid lines if they are available. So I'm going to import now those drawings within IES. So I'm going to go DXF files and model it, model it, model it at the top, DXF files, attach DXF. What I want to do is to go to that folder and grab my ground floor plan. Now here's an initial point where many people are going to go wrong. The scale factor needs to be changed to millimeters. The reason being is it's importing a vectored file, that DXF format, which when we're using AutoCAD we are working with millimeters. So if you imagine each millimeter, if we were using meters, is now a meter. So one meter, a thousand mil, would suddenly become a kilometer long. We are working off the ground plane and in it comes. So we now have our file within and I can see there's a little bit of an error there where we've got our drawing template. That's that's fine. Next thing that we want to have a look at is we want to set up our drawing ready to go. So this includes the location and our drawing locks. I'm going to go over the drawing locks within this video and we'll do the location in the next. So I want to ensure that the grid settings are on. And typically we use a definition of 0 0.1 meters. This gives a nice balance between accuracy and speed. The, so we can go into increasing definitions. However, the speed of our ability to draw does go down. For any students watching, 0 0.1 is a sensible use. We are then going to ensure that our locks are on correctly. Our locks refer to our ability to draw, and IES requires not necessarily precise geometry, but geometry needs to match up. Faces need to match up and be adjacent to one another. So I'm going to make sure that my grid is on, and it's going to lock to the grid. My axis is on, usually sensible, and I'm going to turn model, make sure model endpoint is on and DXF endpoint is off. 
This means it will snap to the model, but it won't try and snap to these, which can be diff a problematic if our drawings don't quite align with the grid. Okay, that appears to all be in order. And at that point, I'm going to end this video.